Hi, my name is Master Grill, and this video is going to be the first in a series of our uh, self our self defense class, uh, which will be the second class. So the videos that are on the website are the all the videos that explains all the material that you'll see on the uh, the first class. So this one is the first one of the series of what you'll be learning on the, the second class. So you can take a look at these videos to get a, a head start on the second class and to familiarize yourself with all the material. All right, so this video is going to be what we call the eight-point blocking system. Now, the eight-point blocking system is an advanced blocking system where the first class, it was more just like blocking and smacking the, 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 the strike away from you. So more of like a reactionary type of thing. Now this one is actually going to teach you proper blocking technique. Um, and if you do this one over and over again, you'll actually get a great muscle memory where your, your body will respond properly to every type of uh, attack that goes on you and you kind of have to strike. All right, so now the eight point blocking, as the name um, suggests, there's eight separate blocks. So uh, there's one on each hand, so it's a matter of four different types of blocks. All right, now, or I'm going to do it a little bit like a mirror because I think this will go better on your on your video when you're watching. So now the um, I'm going to do this will be my left hand. All right, so it should look like your right hand when you're doing it. So so block number one is your right hand. So do this with your right hand. All right. So now from here the block comes down and across just like this. All right. So now that was block number one. Bring your hand back to guard, and then you're going to do block number two. So your hand comes across just like this. So right hand first, bring it back, and then the left hand. All right, so one of the ways to remember this, actually, is what we call the ice cream scoops. So you pretend there's a spoon in your right hand. So for block number one, so you stick it into the ice cream, and then what you're going to do is splat on the person next to you. Splat, just like that. There you go. Um, so when you do the left one, or, this, or block number two, what you're going to do is put the spoon in your left hand, put it into the ice cream, and splat, just like that. So you got one and two looks just like that. So one and two, as you can remember, as the ice cream uh, scoops. Now, throughout all the blocks, there's three different things that I want you to keep in mind when you're doing the blocks. Uh, the first one is you want to go past your silhouette. So meaning like, so if, now visualize a punch coming at my face from here. And if I stop too soon, the strike is still going to come through. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to block past my silhouette. So um, this way it actually stops the strike. So if I go like this, not enough. Got to keep going. Um, now keep that in mind. You want to go just past your silhouette. So if I go like this, I block. Yeah, that's good. But if I just keep keep going, I go too far. It, my whole my whole upper body, my ribs, and everything are are vulnerable for a strike. And it takes too long. So what happens is you want to block just past your uh, silhouette. So it makes it the most efficient. So if I do this, um, I'm actually wasting time and leaving myself vulnerable. All right, so now uh, when you do the block, also what you want to do is you want to block pretty far out, what we call cutting off the angle. So you want to have it like this, where I see the distance. So if you're doing this, like show you from the front, so if you're doing this where it's too close, somebody hits you, it's the whole thing is just gonna like smash into you. So you wanna block kind of far. So from here, you want your arms from here, block out from here. So that would that would be your one and then two. So like one and then two. So remember your right hand is number one. So from here, like block just past your silhouette and you wanna have it pretty far out that way. Just like that. All right, so now when you're doing, the third thing I want you to keep in mind is that you always want to block with the bone of your arm. So if you, if you feel your arm, uh, on this side you have a bone, and on this side you have a bone. So there's actually two bones that go through, go through your arm from here. So you always want to block with the bone of your arm. You don't want to block with the front, I'll do it this way without my watch, with the soft part you don't want to do on this side, or this side. You want to do the the outer sides. You can feel it. You can feel the bone on your arm. So you want to hit that way. Almost like if you're doing a hammer strike, hitting this way, it's, it's that part from here. All right, so now when you do the block, you can remember one by the ice cream if you want. So from here, but it does have like a nice smooth circular type movement like that. So you go from here. 
Um, so like say if your hand is here, the person goes to punch, bam, you actually like shoot it up this way. So now a lot of people ask like when you're doing the blocks, is it like am I going to do this big circle just from here? It tends to be where you learn blocks from wherever your hands happen to be. So like if my hand is here and, I, and the punch comes at me, I'm going to do the, the next block, which is number three and four. Um, so that's a different fundamental. So all the three things that I mentioned are going to be um, used throughout the whole entire uh, blocking system. So you want to kind of remember those. All right, so one and two are, is the ice cream. Now number three, what that looks like from your hands on guard, your hand comes up and blocks across that way. So now you're blocking with the other, ball, the other side of your arm, like I'm going from there. So from here, you're going to do now number four. So number four will be your left hand. So you come up and across that way. You can eventually you could do it from like one continuous like movement where it doesn't have to be like up and across. It'll be have more of a flow to it. So it's kind of like pop went across that way. But I wouldn't mind you kind of like bringing your hand up and across in the beginning just for like learning purposes to get the right technique down. All right, so now you've got uh, one, uh, one, two, three, and four. So like one is the ice cream where your hands flow. Number two, number three comes across and number four, just like that. Some people actually like to say like, it's like a shower curtain. So you reach up for the shower curtain and then close it, whoosh, close the shower curtain. So you wanna go just past your silhouette. So like from here, if you keep going, again, it's gonna like leave you open for, for strikes. So like one, two, three, and then four, just that way. So now the first four are most likely gonna be the ones in the very, on the, uh, the second class. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, we'll probably wait for another class. But for the video, uh, I'll do it. If you only want to cover what's on the video, uh, on the second class, you might want to just skip forward, but it's up to you. Um, so now number five and six is if the attack is coming down on you, like if somebody's coming in and trying to do a strike down on you. Um, so now from here, what you're going to do is you from your hands from the guard, you're going to pop your, like almost like you're punching up. Boom, and then pop your arm up and have like an angle. So what you want to do is you want to hit with the center of your arm. So if I'm doing a block like this, see I'm still blocking with the bone. See how the bones here, remember I said like the bone goes in with a hammer strike? If you remember from the very first class, the hammer strike from here. So here's the bone. So you want to meet wherever the strike. So if the strike is like coming down on you, if they're trying to hit like down on you, you're going to have the bone meet them from there. So you're going to do your five. It's like an angle. So even like the, the power can also like shoot off your arm. So if they're coming in, they can like, you know, glance off your arm. If you're getting, if you're too close from here and doing this, the whole thing's just going to come into you. You want to actually have it far away. Well, do it from here, like block like this way. So now what that looks like is from here. So if I'm from here, it's pretty far out. So you have like the five and then your six. Now, uh, seven and eight is if it's a low attack. So one, two, three, and four are like mid-level attacks, and five and six if it comes down on you. Uh, now for seven and eight, again, if it's a low attack coming at you, like say if somebody wants to punch you in the stomach or something like that. So what you're gonna do is you bring your hand up, almost like you're grabbing your ear, the opposite side here, and then like you're gonna rip the ear off. Not like the first class, you don't wanna do it to yourself. So from here, you want to do the low block. And then number eight is the same thing from here. So it's like seven and then like eight from there. So now a little bit sideways. So you can see number seven, you want to have a good amount of space. Because if it's you're too close, uh, from, if I'm, I'm going to block close on this one. So I'm going to move back a little bit. So from here, a person goes to like say punch me in the stomach. And then what happens if I knock the arm and I'm too close, I'm going to like help them by, I almost hit myself in the groin because I'm like redirecting their arm right to uh, right to my groin. So what you want to do is like have it like seven and eight. So now when your arms are farther out, it also helps do what's called cutting off the angle. All right. So now this one's kind of hard to explain a little bit, but like uh, visualize like say uh, we're gonna punch me from here. So there, there's the arm. All right. So actually let's do it to the chest. So we get a little bit closer. So from here. Now, if that punch is like, say, coming at me from here, it's kind of hard for me to do with, by myself. But like, if you're from here, and if I do the block, I want to, and if I'm very close, I need to travel 
I don't know what that was, close to a foot. They could move the arm uh, all the way. So that gets a bigger block. So that's if I'm like really, really close, I have to move the arm. So now visualize like the punch and then you block somewhere by their elbow. So like if I, if I block close to their fist or the elbow, now if I do the elbow, I only have to move it a couple of inches. So now what this is all referencing is like if I'm doing the block close to me or far out, like I said before. So if it's close to me, I have to block far. If it's close to me, I have to block far. If it's further out, I have to block less. Because like now say if my arm is here, to see if I'm blocking by the elbow, so you can see, if I'm blocking by the elbow, I only have to watch this hand. In order to make it miss, I probably only move my hand about two inches, maybe even less. And then now it makes the, the punch go off to the side, so now it won't hit me. So you could actually move less and get the same result when your hands are out. What that does is makes it more efficient. Um, so with practice, and a person really tries to wail on you, you could do very little movement to stop the attack, opposed to like if they're coming at you with a lot of energy. You have to do a lot to stop their attack. I'd rather be able to do a little so I can work more on doing my strikes on them too. All right, so for the uh, little final rounds, you have like your block number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you bring your hands back to guard. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. So this is the first one of the series. Uh, you can watch uh, all the other ones to see what's on the, on the second class. And it was really fun uh, teaching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the second class.